Hey everybody, welcome back to One Seed, One World. So I am out here on our West Virginia property. Uh, we haven't been up here since February and decided that we needed to come up and download our trail cams, check on how bad, the sh how bad a shape the camper was in, do a little bit of weed whacking and those sorts of things. So we're only up here for the day, um, you know, not, a lot of times when we've come up here in the past, we'll stay for the weekend or sometimes even several days, but we've got too many animals and stuff to take care of at home. So we just want to come up for a quick day trip, be here for a few hours and go back home. Uh, this property is about an hour and a half drive from our house. So, and it's an easy drive. Uh, yeah, it's uh, actually 93 miles, I think is the total from our house. So we'll come up here and for the day sometimes, come up early in the morning and do stuff during the day and then get home before dark. So I'm out here now and uh, you can see the camper there behind me. This is how this channel originally started was this was our off-grid property and we wanted to build a, a house up here and maybe move up here uh, or at least a cabin. Now we are not financially able to do that yet. Um, I say off-grid but we, do, we did have an electric pole put in to plug the camper into. When we first got here, there was nothing. We did put in, uh, have a, uh, one electric pole put in. But we don't have, uh, you know, like septic or a well. Uh, so we bring water with us or have water delivered to use for washing. There is a company uh, a few miles away that will come and pump out the septic in our camper so we can use the toilet in there and uh, they'll deliver water to us as well. So we've kind of done that over the past few years since we've owned this property. And we really haven't done a whole lot here other than um, expanding the driveway, kind of smoothing it out, and then just cutting trails through the woods. We just basically come up here and we'll camp or come for day trips. Uh, we have seven acres here with a creek, and I use that term loosely. Here, I'll show you guys. The creek only has water in it about three months out of the year. And uh, this is not one of those months. Looking at our trail cam footage, uh, looks like we did have some water in June. We get a lot of deer and mostly deer, but we've seen a lot of different animals up here. Uh, we have caught bear on our trail cams a couple times. Um, coyote, raccoons, possums, bobcat, fishers, herons, all kinds of different things, but mostly it's deer. There's a bridge down there where the, the gravel road goes through past our property. Um, but, you know, it's, it's pretty just backwood stuff. And just in the past year, you see all this crap laying across the creek. This didn't used to be here. You could see way up the creek before, but there was a big storm that came through and took down a couple of these trees that now are laying across the creek. Uh, so I'm gonna have to clean up some of this eventually when I'm up here for more than just an afternoon, uh, just to make it a little bit more clear and uh, easier for the water to flow down when it does flow. I'll throw in a couple clips and show you what it looks like when the creek is running and show you some of the wildlife stuff here. Uh, for those of you that have been following the channel since the very early days, I think there was only about 20 of you back then. Um, you know, you might recognize some of this and remember some of the stuff that I used to show on here. Uh, I cut trails through the woods though. I started one today, but my um, battery ran out on my weed whacker. So I only got part way up here, but we have another trail cam way back up in here and we catch lots of different animals on there. And so now I'm getting ready to go do some more weed whacking back on this other side of the camper. So this area, when we're up here more often, is pretty cleared out. There's actually a fire pit in there that's pretty uh, grown over right now. Uh, and this is kind of the area where we will hang out in the evenings and have a fire and whatnot, but it's really overgrown right now. 
And since I still have about another hour and a half before we have to leave, um, I'm going to see if I can get some of this cleared out. And I'm going to get out my big beast of a uh, rolling weed whacker that I have and show you guys that. And uh, I mean, with some parts, I prefer to use the regular hand weed whacker that I have. But uh, today I want to show you the, the big one just to show you how it works. And I'll have a link below uh, if you decide that you want to get one. Because I got mine off of Amazon. Been using it now for probably a good five years. And it does a really good job with cutting thick brush and uh, even very small, I wouldn't say trees, but, you know, sprouts of trees. <laughs> uh, but it, it will whip through this stuff really well. Works kind of like a push lawn mower uh, or maybe almost like a mini bush hog. And so it works for these types of projects. Okay, so this bit that I did back here behind me, if you can see that, that took uh, 15 minutes. Kind of plowed through it really quickly. I'm not gonna get everything done that I need to do because we don't have the time today and frankly, I don't feel like it. But I wanted to show you the beast of the uh, rolling weed whacker. So this is a Remington. I'll put a, like I said, I'll put a link below. Uh, it's because you can get it on Amazon. Um, and I have had this thing for probably a good six years now. It still starts on one pull, just after a couple pumps on the, the primer there. And you know, this thing is pretty dirty looking, but it's been running great for me for six years. And you, uh, if you look underneath here, it's got that spinner wheel, and then you put your trimmer string in there, which I don't think really comes up on the camera because of this angle. So sorry that you can't see the trimmer swing, but uh, it's really easy to put the string, the string in. You can put different gauges of the trimmer string in. Uh, so if you're doing lighter work, you can just use a lighter gauge. I have a pretty heavy one on there for using out here, but um, I've used both light and heavy trimmer string on this. They all work. You can get them in big uh, rolls of them. Uh, but, you know, they're not that expensive and they last you a long time and will cut through a lot of stuff. And so that was a little vlog here today up at our West Virginia property that uh, we have that we don't get up to as often as we would like. Um, the first year that we owned this property, we came up here every single weekend for like 12 weeks in a row. Kind of spent every weekend of the summer up here. That was before we had chickens. Um, and a rabbit and you know we had less pets back then so we have more things to take care of now plus our dogs are older one of the dogs has a heart issue um, so you know I don't I worry about leaving her even even though we do have a pet sitter that comes I still don't like to be away from her just because she's getting old and, and has the heart issue um, she loves to travel and would do fine up here Oliver the younger one he gets car sick and does not travel so well. So we have brought them here a few times, but Oliver always throws up on the way and you know, he's more rambunctious. So sometimes it can be an issue, but I think we are gonna bring them up. We just have to set up the little fencing around the camper so that they can you know, come outside and stuff and we don't have to worry about Oliver chasing off a skunk or something horrible. So, <laughs> you know, those kind of things. So I didn't do much uh, over here on this side behind me. You see I have the pathway cut back here behind me, but I have a lot of stuff over here that I did not get to. And on this side, I didn't get to a whole lot, uh, but I mainly got my path cut to the creek so we can walk down to the creek if we want to, and uh, also you know get to the trail cam easier down there. Um, so we'll do more next time, but that's 
the little thing from the property today. So whatever's going on in your neck of the woods, whether you're doing a garden, a homestead, or on some off-grid property, I hope it's working out fantastic for you and that you're having a great day. But I appreciate that you're here hanging out with me again today and, and checking out the video. And we will see you again soon for other gardening stuff, build projects, and chickens, bees, the other things that I do. Uh, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. But we will see you again soon. Namaste.